Ahmad was born into a rich and influential family in Yazd. At an early age, he showed an unusual interest in mysticism and the ascetic life. He would often seek seclusion to meditate undisturbed. His greatest hope was to attain the presence of the Promised One of Shia Islam, the Chaim, whose advent many believed was imminent. His family, who were devout Muslims, were upset by Ahmad's behavior and tried to discourage him, so he decided to leave home. In 1826, some 18 years before the declaration of the Bab, Ahmad left Yazd in the garb of a dervish. He traveled to Boucher, a port city on the Persian Gulf, and from there by ship to Bombay. In India, he associated with mystics, Sufis, and other leaders of thought. But in spite of his rigorous ascetic discipline and fervent prayer and meditation, he did not find the object of his quest. Disheartened, he retraced his steps to Persia, making his home in Kashan, where he married and worked as a hand weaver. After the Bab's declaration in Shiraz in 1844, his revolutionary message spread rapidly throughout Persia. When the news of the Bab reached Kashan, Ahmad soon heard the rumors and renewed his search. One day he met a traveler in the local caravanserai who told him to go to Mashhad, where he would find a certain Mula Abdul Khalik, who might be able to help him. Ahmad set out on foot early the next day. He walked from Kashan to Tehran and from there to Mashhad, a distance of about 500 miles. There he contacted Mula Abdul Khalik and told him about his search. At this early period in the Babi movement, the believers had to exercise great care to avoid attracting the attention of government agents and the Muslim clergy intent on the destruction of the movement. For this reason, Mullah Khalik was reticent at first, but when Ahmad persisted in his inquiry day after day, the Mullah finally told Ahmad to go to the mosque of Gauhar Shad one night where he would meet someone who could assist him. He was led to a secret gathering at which the guest speaker was Mullah Sadiq Khorasani, an early convert of Mullah Hussein, the first of the Bab's disciples. Ahmad attended several clandestine meetings addressed by Khorasani and soon declared his belief in the Bab. Ahmad was then advised to return to his family in Kashan, to resume his work and to teach the new faith. On returning to Kashan, Ahmad discovered that a prominent merchant there, Haji Mirza Jani, was also a believer. They were the only Babis in Kashan at the time. 